So tomorrow, the elusive Peter Strzok, who was the lead investigator for the FBI in both the Clinton investigation and exoneration and the Russia Trump campaign investigation. He did the interview of Michael Flynn and others. He will appear behind closed doors with the committees on Capitol Hill. But we are told that this may be just a warm up and that we can potentially expect him to testify publicly in the near future so we can all watch his answers to these questions as well. A new piece by Real Clear Investigations, very interesting story, quotes a former FBI agent as saying that he sees that there were seven attempts really by U.S. intelligence and Clinton operatives to essentially entrap members of the Trump campaign. This former agent's name is Mark Walk, and he says, quote, what appear to have been repeated attempts to implicate the Trump campaign in some sort of quid pro quo arrangement with the Russians who claim to have dirt on Hillary look like efforts to manufacture evidence against members of the Trump campaign or create pretexts to investigate it. Tomorrow's hearing will drill down on that very central question here. And earlier this evening, I spoke with Republican Senator Lindsey Graham of South Carolina, a member of the Senate Judiciary Committee. So let's take a look. You, you are announcing tonight mm -hmm. a letter that you wrote to Rod Rosenstein, who is very right. central to all of this. And in it, we're going to put up on the screen the two questions that you would like him to answer. Number one, did Strzok and Page have any role in retaining or supervising the informant or directing the decision to use the informant? Did Strzok or Page have any such role as to any informant used to investigate the Trump campaign or Trump associates? And number two, did Strzok or Page have any role in reviewing, approving or supplying information for the FISA warrant obtained to surveil Carter Page? So, you know, when you put those two things together, your letter and that Real Clear Investigations piece Everybody is probing at how this whole thing got started and whether or not it was some form of entrapment. Well, what we know now is that the person in charge of the Clinton email investigation, Mr. Strzok and Ms. Page, were in the tank for Clinton and hated Trump. Now, did those two people start an investigation against the Trump campaign uh, because they had a political bias or was it based on legitimate evidence? How would you like this guy supervising a confidential informant against the Trump campaign, given his bias and given his dislike for President Trump? He should be the last guy to go to court to get a warrant on anybody associated with the Trump campaign. My question is, what role did they play in the Russian investigation? You know, and it follows up on their text messages, which, you know, I, I would imagine right. he's going to say, look, those are just, you know, I was being funny. <laughs> I was just kidding around. I, you know, no, I didn't like sure. the president, but it had no bearing whatsoever on sure. my act, on my actions. But, right. they, you know, talk about the insurance policy and they talk yeah. about stopping him. And then, you know, late spring of, of 2016, all these efforts to try to sort of poke for soft places within members of the campaigns and see if they pick up on this stuff begin, it appears. Well, uh, here's what's important. July the 31st, they clear Clinton. Now, let me tell you this. If you had done what she had done with her email systems and compromised classified information, you would not have been cleared. So they could not stop Trump if they found her guilty of abusing uh, classified information. So there was no way in hell they were going to find Clinton liable if the goal was to stop Trump because you're giving him the election. Yeah. The question now is about the Russian investigation. Was it a counterintelligence investigation where they were worried about Russia trying to penetrate the Trump campaign? If that's the reason they investigated the Trump campaign, they should have told the Trump campaign, mm -hmm. hey, there's some people associated yeah, with right. Russia that you need to be aware of. The fact that they never told the Trump mm -hmm. campaign about the investigation is very curious to me. I, I agree. It, it was, it, that would be a defensive briefing, and there's a very clear yeah. uh, mention of the decision not to do a defensive briefing. And, you know, hopefully we're going to get to some of the, the, the bottom of some of these questions. Um, John Brennan, who is no fan of the president, uh, <laughs> yeah. has said this. When the special counsel's work is done, the Republican Party must have its modern day equivalents of Watergate heroes. Howard Baker, Elliot Richardson, Bill Ruckelshaus, <clears throat> John Dean, who will put country, <laughs> fellow citizens and law above any one person, including <laughs> Donald Trump. Your thoughts? Uh, that the last person I'd received counseling advice from about anything related to Trump would be Brennan. I think Brennan has shown a dislike for the president that questions whether or not he actually was fair uh, as the CIA director. You've got to remember that the people that we're looking at here 
hated Trump, and I think they were all in the tank for Clinton. And we'll see what Mr. Mueller says, but I do know this. The primary investigator when it comes to the Russian Trump connection early on was Mr. Stroke, who was clearly in the tank for Clinton and hated Trump. I understand why Mueller fired him. I understand uh, why he would fire other people, given their behavior regarding the Trump campaign. So we'll see what Mr. Mueller does, but I'm shocked that nobody in your business, really outside of Fox News, seems to give a damn that the head investigator for the FBI wanted to stop Trump and basically bastardized an investigation of Clinton, had a bias that was beyond belief. Well, and I mean, if there was any the attempt to influence the presidential campaign yeah. on the part of these individuals, um, every American should be very, Absolutely. very concerned about that possibility. And if that's not what happened, we should know that too. Amen. Um, Senator Lindsey Graham, always good to see you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you.